Hi guys, welcome back to another advent calendar unboxing. Uh, so today we have Molten Brown and uh, it just looks lovely. Uh, I actually wanted to buy last year but I was just uh, debating like that long if I just want to, if I should buy it or not. If I can justify the uh, spending that much money on a bath advent calendar and it just sold out. So this year I wasn't really debating too long and I just got this advent calendar. Uh, when they had a gift, gift with purchase uh, on Cold Beauty, I think. Uh, so yeah, uh, as you can see, it's really pretty. It's quite, uh, I would say, even manly. Yeah, it has more of like a manly vibe, I would say. Uh, it opens like this. And as you can see, it's just as pretty inside. Uh, so, I mean, I would love to reuse these, but... You know, you could probably just use it as like a um, gift packaging or something, but you could just have to cover the numbers, or I don't know. But yeah, it looks really pretty. So I'm just going to put this on my lap uh, and start the unboxing real soon. But before I do, let me just remind you about the giveaway. Link will be above my head and in the description box below. And also for those of you who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. Uh, and please uh, click the notification bell too, uh, so that you can be notified about our future videos. Uh, so yeah, let's start the unboxing. So I'm going to start with number one, obviously. Uh, so number one looks like this. And what do we have in here? Hmm. Okay, we have a bubble. So we have a Christmas bubble in, what is this? Vintage vintage wood edelflower, bath and shower gel. These are really cute and they're like a perfect stocking filler if you want to gift it, gift them to someone. I'll probably just keep all of them for myself. Oh, that smells lovely. Hmm, that smells like an edelflower. So yeah, they look really lovely. And yeah, that's our number one. So number two, and here we have a body lotion. The same scent, uh, vintage with edelflower. And I don't even know why I'm uh, smelling this, because the scent is the same. Yeah, it's literally the same. <laughs> it reminds me of something though, I don't know. Like um, some kind of pie or cake, something like this. But yeah, it smells lovely. It smells really nice. So let's move on to number three. And what is this? Okay, so this is a, a bathing oil uh, and the scent is Jasmine and Sunrose. So I've never tried a bathing oil from uh, Molten Brown. So I'm really quite curious. I do know the scent. It's quite nice. Not my favorite, but it's actually ones that I like. Uh, and yeah, I'm quite excited to actually try the baking oil from uh, Morphin Brown. So number four, quite long, and this is... Oh, we have a fragrance. Oh my God, I love fragrances. I'm hoping actually to get some more fragrances in here and some candles too. I'm really hoping. Uh, and I do love Morphin Brown shower gel, obviously, but like candles and fragrances are just my thing. So this is a, a fragrance, like a very generous size too. I don't know how big is this. 7.5 mils. Uh, and this is Juniper Jazz. Uh, so I think this is their new fragrance for Christmas. I'm, I have to sniff it. But I'm like not spraying on, I mean, I did spray it on my hand. So, well, oh, this is lovely. This is just, yeah, this is pretty much Juniper. Hmm. Nice, like aromatic, peppery, a little peppery scent. Oh, it's just lovely. But it's so Christmassy, it's so wintry. I mean, I love it. I'm definitely going to use it around the Christmas period this year. And let's move on to number five now. So number five, we have something pink. So this is a delicious rhubarb and rose hand cream. The rich, delicious rhubarb and rose actually featured quite a lot in um, advent calendars this year. Uh, mostly shower gel, obviously. And I actually like it. I'm not a massive fan of rose fragrances, uh, but I do like mixes. Like uh, rhubarb and rose actually smells quite nice. I do like rose and coffee, that type of like uh, concoctions. Um, so we have 40 mils here and yeah, I mean, hand cream, something uh, that, I mean, I use a lot of hand creams, so definitely something I'm going to use. Uh, number six, this one is quite heavy. So what do you think guys is going to be a candle? I'm really hoping. Um, 
I'm really, really hoping that it's a candle. And it's a candle, yay! <laughs> Uh, so this one is Tobacco Absolute and I just I need to sniff it. I mean, this is the biggest joy for me. Oh my God, this smells just lovely. I think this is a masculine scent, but for me it uh, smells like uh, totally a unisex. I mean, it's lovely. I would, yeah, definitely something I could just uh, wear myself. So yeah, first candle, very, very happy. Number seven. And here we have uh, a coastal cypress and sea fennel, and this is fine liquid hand wash. I do like that scent. It's very, for me, uh, it's very summery. So definitely something I'm going to use a little bit later when it's warmer. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to put away uh, somewhere and uh, go back to it when uh, it's more sunny and summery. Number eight, and here we have something not too heavy. So this is Geranium Nefertum Bath and Shower Gel and this is one of my favorite fragrances. Again, I think this is a masculine line, uh, but there you go. Yeah, that smells just go that smells gorgeous. That smells totally unisex or even like even more feminine for me, but that's just my opinion. So number nine now. And uh, it's a long one, so I'm guessing maybe another fragrance. Oh, below me. I think it's another fragrance. Yay! And uh, here we have a geranium ne nephertum. So I just said it smells lovely, so now I have a fragrance. So that's... Uh, yeah. Oh my god, that's just gorgeous. That's amazing. But so that you know, this advent calendar is completely unisex. I think uh, those fragrances and... Pretty much everything could be used by uh, men and women at the same time. Uh, maybe the most feminine thing that uh, I actually found here was the rhubarb and rose uh, hand cream, but um, uh, I still don't find it like too girly or anything like that. It's more like a refreshing. So definitely, like whole advent calendar is very unisex. So number ten, and here we have orange and bergamot uh, radiant body oil so we have another body oil but this time we have a uh, body oil that you actually put on your body after shower not like a shower or bath bo bathing body oil uh so yeah i do like that scent this is one of my favorites uh from molten brown uh so definitely definitely going to use this number 11 Mm, okay, do we have another hand cream? Yes, it's orange, orange and bergamot hand cream. Uh, so yeah, just as I said, I love this fragrance uh, and I do love hand creams. And it's another 40 ml, so very good size. Number 12. And here we have Heavenly Gingerly Bath and Shower Gel. Uh, another fragrance I like, I don't love it. It's not one of my favorites, although I know many people actually love this one. This is a very, very uh, subtle fragrance, like a little bit flowery. I mean, it's flowery, not even a little bit. It's just very flowery. But uh, I do. There are fragrances I prefer uh, to this one, but still, I, yeah, I like it. I'm really glad there hasn't been anything like too citrusy so far because I know they have those fragrances in the range, uh, but I'm just not a fan, you know. Of citrusy fragrances in general not only molten brown but in general number 13 so if there's uh, anything citrusy it might be here because you know 13 is apparently unlucky so let's have a look and no we have a heaven region jewelry body lotion so it wasn't unlucky after all uh let's move on to number 14 i thought it might be a candle but it's not heavy enough so i think it's something else it's a bubble So we have a muddled plum uh, bubble with bath and shower gel, and this is actually one of my favorite fragrances um, ever. I mean, I love this one. Oh, this is just lovely. Yeah, and it looks beautiful. I mean, I, I love that color too. So number 15 now. Mm, and, uh, okay, what is this? This is a vitamin lip saver. So it's a lip product. That's something completely unexpected for me. Um, yeah, it's a lip balm for dry lips. Use smooth use it smooth across your lips whenever they feel dry. So yeah, we have a lip balm from uh, Moton Brown. I honestly I didn't even know they had lip balms in the range. Uh, so definitely something new to try. 
uh, and surprising. I'm not saying I don't like it, I'm just saying I'm surprised. <laughs> uh, so now let's move on to number 16. And number 16 is actually quite heavy, so a candle. Yes, a candle. So this one is delicious rhubarb and rose. I'm going to keep this for warmer days, definitely. It smells gorgeous. Gorgeous, yeah. So uh, perfect for spring. Uh, I can't wait. I mean, I can't wait for Christmas, but after that, I just want spring straight away. I don't really like winter. Number 17 now. And here we have a volumizing shampoo with Kumudu. Uh, so I've never actually tried anything from their hair range. It smells lovely. I mean, that's not a surprise, uh, obviously. Everything from Morton Brown smells at least nice. Uh, so we have a shampoo. I'm assuming uh, we'll find a conditioner somewhere there too. Number 18. And we have a conditioner. Uh, so this is volumizing conditioner with Komodo again. Uh, so it's a matching conditioner. Perfect. Uh, I can't wait to try these. Uh, let's move on to number 19 now. And we have another pink item. And this is a fiery pink pepper hand cream. So this is one of those fragrances that I don't love, but I like it. Uh, that's like a strong like. Uh, so uh, I'm quite happy to have a hand cream, um, uh, not a shower gel uh, in the scent. Um, but yeah, I mean, I do love uh, hand creams, especially around that time of the year. Uh, so definitely something I'm going to use. Number 20. By the way, this is 24 days advent calendar. Unfortunately, we don't have the 25th day. Uh, so this time we have jasmine and sun rose and this is bath and shower gel. So let me just have a quick sniff just to remember. Yeah, yes, I like it. I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Number 21. Hmm. Okay, we have another skincare product. So this is Igel. That's quite interesting. I I don't really know much apparently, but I didn't realize that they uh, actually have a skincare line. So that's actually quite interesting to try. And this is this actually seems yeah this is fifteen mils, so a quite a generous size for an eye cream. I think it's a full size, right? Uh, okay, let's move on to number twenty two. And here we have another oil. And this is Heavenly Gingerly Caressing Body Oil. I do enjoy the fact that we actually have a couple of oils here and a um, couple of candles too. So number 23, and here we have another bubble. Uh, so we have three bubbles all together. And this one is Fiery Pink Pepper. Okay, so I mean... <laughs> As you already know, not my favorite scent ever, but I don't mind. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. So, uh, well, definitely will be used. Um, not complaining. Uh, and I do love the fact that we have three bubbles. They just love, uh, they just look lovely. Uh, so the last one, number 24. And uh, what do we have in this one? It's another fragrance. Yes, it is. Yay. So this one is Recharge Black Pepper. Yes. So this is the more masculine out of the pepper fragrances. The fire pink pepper is more feminine. The recharged black pepper is more masculine, apparently. I, I prefer that one. Definitely prefer that one. Yes. Mm, that one is just lovely. It has some green notes to it, so that's actually quite interesting. Probably not something I'm going to use now, because those green notes, they usually just kind of suggest uh, it to me to wear them like uh, more on like a summertime or springtime. Uh, but yeah, we have three fragrances. I do like it. I do like the fact that we have three fragrances. We have some oils in here and some candles. I would prefer more candles, maybe. Like, at least three. That would be lovely. Uh, I would just swap the skincare products for um, candles, I think. Uh, but yeah, in general, I do think this Advent calendar is just lovely. Is it worth the money? I don't know. If you just love Morton Brown, I guess uh, you pretty much know what you pay for. And... Um, you probably love the scents and products and everything like that so you'll be happy with everything you'll get there so what do you guys think what's your opinion on this advent calendar i personally loved it but i kind of knew what to expect here and i mean i wasn't i was a little bit surprised with those like skincare products uh, i didn't expect that uh but 
anyway i did like it a lot uh so thank you very much for watching please let me know down in the comments below what you think of this one uh in particular and uh i'm going to see you very soon bye